Hello everyone, my name is Cristoforo De Martino and I'm an assistant professor at Giorgiani University, University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign Institute. In this presentation, I will provide preliminary results on the development of an active bending temporary corridor based on bamboo strips. Our study in particular demonstrates the potentials of the use of bamboo strips for creating an active bending temporary corridor. In particular, this study presents preliminary results of an ongoing study aimed at designing and realizing a new original prototype active bending temporary corridor based on the use of bamboo strips. The main design goals are to obtain a very light structure to save material, simple to be installed, and using green materials to reduce the environmental impact. The proposed structure is inspired by elastic geodesic grids, lightweight structures that can be easily deployed to approximate the designer provided freeform surfaces. In particular, the idea is to have two different configurations, a first one where the grid is perfectly flat, and a second web, one after deployment, uh, obtained by uh, a, or inducing a curvature to the structure, which the elements, the grid elements, bend and twisted. The mechanism used to produce this effect is basically active bending. Before to start, we investigate different opportunities and we start to try to bend the bamboo columns. You can see on the left side of this slide that it's quite difficult to bend these elements and this is due to the high, relatively high flexural stiffness of the element. On the other end, when you are using a bamboo uh, slice, so you can see, or basically as we are calling bamboo strips, basically small thin strips cut from the uh, bamboo calves, you can see that it's quite easy to bend without applying a high force. The main reason, because we want to apply this uh, bending and we want to deform the structure, is because we can obtain a um, stiffness of the system, as you can see here in this picture taken from the paper reported in the bottom part of the slide. In this slide, you can see the main material we used, so you can see the bamboo strips. The bamboo strips are obtained, basically, as I said to you before, by cutting the bamboo columns in thin uh, slices. And uh, when uh, we obtain a sufficient number of these slices, the first things we did is to make a material characterization. We started with a typical uh, material testing, in particular the tensile testing. You can see here the test setup we adopted with the extensimeter and the sigma epsilon diagram. And you can see that we calculate the maximum strength of the system and the elastic modulus, which is around 12 gigapascal. After that, we investigated as well the large deformation uh, behavior of these elements. You can see here the setup we created. Basically, we have a beam and we are applying a deflection and we are measuring the a, a deflection and we are containing this, the constraining this deflection using a wire and we are measuring the force during the deflection. We obtained basically the diagram reported in a, uh, on the right part of the setup and you can see that we have a first elastic stage and then we have a non-linear stage. And finally, we cross-validated this model uh, with a numerical model implemented in OpenSix. To predict the general mechanical behavior of such complex structural system, we adopted a, a method based on the so-called dynamic relaxation method. It consists of using a dynamic analysis that accounts for geometric nonlinearity to let the initial configuration relax and follow modified boundary condition. It is often implemented by an explicit integration time algorithm, such as the central difference method. The general idea basically is to have different springs. You can see, in fact, we are calling particle springs uh, method. And in this case, we are calibrating the springs to obtain a, a behavior uh, similar to that one proposed, obtained by the full structure. A first scale prototype of the structure was realized to investigate the feasibility of the idea. The structure you can see here is made of two main arches made of two beams with a rectangular cross section of 7 by 22 millimeters and a length of 2.1 meter. You can see that these two parallel arches are connected with four diagonal elements connecting one end of an arch with the center of the other arch. In this way, four inclined beams are included. This uh, model was basically created starting from the numerical model, as you can see in this slide, reporting the initial configuration and the deployed configuration. This structure basically gives us the idea that this, this possible system can be adopted to realize a temporary corridor. 
So you can see in this slide the construction process. The students are reinstalling, you can see, the different bars. First, they are creating the planar configuration. Then they are installing the PVC transparent fabric on the top of the structure. After they are installing the laminated bamboo beam at the end, they are starting by bending the structure. They are obtaining the first arch. Then they are connecting the second arch system and they are building as well the flooring system. After that, they are connecting, you can see that the general structure with the, uh, the, the external structure with the uh, bamboo elements and they are basically creating the uh, final structure, the final module of the corridor. Everything was very fast and they can install the structure in less than 25 minutes. This is the final structure that they obtained. You can see, basically, they completed everything with a LED system for lighting. And you can see the numerical model on the left and the real structure on the right with me and the student's team. In this slide, you can see some uh, views of the structure installed in the garden of our campus during the daytime and the nighttime. And you can imagine this as a module of this corridor. So you should imagine a sequence of this structure. And you can see that this structure can potentially be used for the scope we plan to do. Finally, as I said at the beginning of this presentation, we started from preliminary tests on the bamboo strips. We realized that a module, a possible module to be adopted for the structure for a temporary corridor. And you can see that we demonstrate the possible realization. And we are now working in a more general sense in to realize adaptable space structures based on active bending bamboo and to work in a modular environment. This we, we, what we will do in the near future and this what we hope to, pre to present in the near future. Thank you for your attention.